In this session, we're going to learn how to save channel strip settings, which is entire stacks worth of plugins. So let's listen to this file. All right, so there are many plugins on this channel strip, and if I click any plugin with the option key held down, it will bypass and unbypass. Okay, I think I'm going to bail on this channel strippy here. And I think I'm going to bypass, I'll bypass the filter freak too. But remember, when I save these, these bypass plugins will also be part of the save channel strip. When I go to the mixer window, at the very top of the fader is a small window. It says setting when it's uninitiated. This one has, says BB trail. This is where you access channel strips. And in the inspector here, it's at the very top of the fader as well. Right now, let's say save channel strip setting as. So that we can better understand where this stuff goes, let's go to my hard drive, which I call North Star, the user folder, me, library, application support, logic. And I'm going to scroll over here and in the logic folder will be channel strip settings. And if I go to my instrument channel strips, I see all my settings. All right, so let's save it as BB Trail of Tears 2. And what we're going to do is add this save channel strip to a new track. So I'm going to with open up my H key, which is the hide key, open up this track, and let's take a listen to this. All right, so on there, I'm going to click hold the channel strips, and I'm going to say BB Instrument Channel Strips. And way, way down off screen here is BB Trail of Tears 2. So I'll pull that up, and you'll see all these plugins load, even the bypassed ones.